Wyatt. Yep. You and Emily are sneaking through the woods. The sun is already down. Um, let me change the music here. One second. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't matter for you, I guess, because um, you can't get into the music anyway. Apparently. Did he? No. Did Wyatt bring his rifle with him? Yes. And fire, because you know, guns and fire, fire. with a fourteen-year-old are a cool. great idea. Uh, okay, you guys start walking into the woods. The trees blowing in the breeze with the moonlight coming from behind you play play some tricks on the mind. You see the shadows kind of dancing across the ground in front of you. But as you get into deeper into the forest, it starts getting even darker. Um, I assume you also brought a flashlight, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Um, and Emily kind of clings to your side a little bit, even though you're a little bit smaller than she is. It uh, It's a lot creepier in here than I was expecting. <laughs> Okay. We'll be alright. Okay. You have to use your voice tonight, Frankie. I'm, I'm too... Yeah. What? Oh, are you saying Frankie expecting... needs to imagine your voice? Uh, Fine, I guess. Just <laughs> picture a higher, higher, like, octave. Picture him with healing... Yeah. That's what you need to do, is oh. just keep helium on your desk and take a shot of it every time you gotta talk. Oh, yeah, just give me a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, but a cave is just up here. We should be fine. We gotta be sneaky, though. Just in case. Okay. Uh, should we turn off the flashlight? Actually, it's a good idea. I, I don't know why I said that. I don't want the flashlight to go off. If we give it a few minutes, our eyes should adjust. We should be able to see just fine. There's a moon out. Okay. Um, so you turn your flashlight off? Hmm. Okay. Um, I realize what I don't have up now. I don't have my books. Uh, one second. Do, 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 do. Uh, reference sheets. Hello? Hold open. On. Open, open, there we go. Okay. Um, and then... Okay. I want you to... How is Wyatt feeling in this moment? Uh, fairly confident. Okay. I would like you to act under pressure as you're wandering towards the cave. Roll plus cool. Everybody's best stat. Well, I can guarantee you that no matter what my cool is, that's an experience point. <laughs> Did you get a double Aww. ones? It's a five. I know for a fact my cool is not a two. I don't think it's even a one. I don't even. Is it a negative? Is it a negative? It doesn't matter. A, a fail is a fail. Um, oh. That didn't open. 
Uh, pretty sure a fail on Act Under Pressure is all things go to hell anyway. Uh oh. But I mean, when I said I was feeling cool, I really meant I'm feeling weird. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. Uh, all right. Let's keep going. So as you two are wandering along, you have the flashlight off, but you start to notice something. You start to see a fog rolling out of the cave in front of you. Oh, that's just that's just gonna help us blend in and hide better. Are you sure? I've, I've never seen that before. Is that just because it's colder out here and warmer in there? Probably. That probably means the monsters in there. What? Wasn't that what you wanted to see? <laughs> yeah. Should we go in? Yeah, I mean, that's what we came out here for, right? Is is Wyatt all in on this? I mean, I don't know. I failed my role, so I'm good. You failed your role, meaning something is happening. And yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, maybe we should take this opportunity to get out of here. Okay. And she's like, oh, uh, if you want to. I, I mean, I guess. Um, as she says that, and you say that, in the fog, you see two red, red lights, eyes, whatever you want to call, appear. You see no body, no form, no shape, just the two eyes staring at you from the fog. How can we help you? Are you asking? Mm hmm. Um. Uh, read a bad situation for me. It's plus sharp. Actually, that's a that's a mild success. That's a seven. Plus anything, or is that with your pluses? Uh, that's with my plus. So you rolled a five or six? I rolled a six. Okay. So, uh, that means you get to ask one question. So, the questions are, what's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? And what's the best way to protect the victims? And in this case, it's up to you whether you guys want to be the victims or you want the victim to be the thing. Actually, I, I, with the question I asked, I'll do what's the best way to protect the victim, and I will make it be the monster. Hmm. With your ability... your powers, your senses, whatever you want to call them. You go into the state that you... that I've taken away from you, but I'm trying to give back to you at this moment. Um, your whole body kind of... just not necessarily shuts down for a second, but you... Emily starts freaking out because you're just not you're not saying anything and she's seeing this thing and you're doing nothing. Um, and you see in the woods, you see a clearing and you see an altar and you see a hand reaching out towards the altar 
and then you come back to and the eyes are getting closer to you and Emily as you're coming back to is like shaking you very aggressively it's like what do we do what do we do what do we do it's coming what do we do run I'll be right there what give me a flashlight please I give her the flashlight she turns it on and she's like I don't care if it can see me and she books it I'm I do know who has the altar right no you never saw the altar didn't they, they talked about that they I don't they had it, did they talk about it yeah he uh, knows that we have okay it. we didn't tell him where it you, was. yeah you know that they moved the altar yeah I I know who has your altar if that's what you're looking for uh, it starts to approach towards you it doesn't look super aggressive at this moment however can you can you talk uh, as it starts to approach you see other things in the shadows you see it looks like a form of a tall person, man, someone, start to form out of the shadows and move towards you. You see another one on the other side of you start to form and move towards you. This is very hard to see. You're kind of catching glimpses of it in the moonlight and that's it. And then you feel a hand reach out and touch you on your shoulder. Uh, from where behind you so not her because she's in front of me she is well it she could be is still in front of you sure. are you turning to look at what's touching you or no no okay um at least not at the moment okay she cocks her head and her face kind of appears out of the you like by she cocks her head you see the eyes tilt and her face appears out of the fog and something you get the feeling that she didn't get the reaction she was wanting and she vanishes And I'm the gonna... beings beside you and behind you, you no longer feel the hand on your shoulder. You don't see anybody beside you or anything. She's just gone. I'm going to turn and run for uh... Emily. Yeah. I like how you've already forgot her name. I'm horrible with names. I'm going to run after Emily. Okay. Uh, Emily is standing at the edge of the woods, panting. And like her, she's looking at her hands. You see the light, and it's just vibrating on the ground. Okay, I saw the monster. We're all good. I don't think we need to see it again anytime soon. I, I, I saw it. It's a monster, or maybe it's lights. I don't know. Again, it's a monster. Yeah, that was. There was more to it after you left too. What? There the were other people in the fog and somebody reached out and put their hand on me. I just want to reiterate, it wasn't in the fog. The fog was just from the cave. The They came oh. from the woods beside you. Oh. oh. There were uh, you, two people. I thought you said formed out of the fog. No, formed out of the darkness. Yeah, darkness. Oh, out of right. the darkness. Okay, uh, sorry. There were two other, at least two or three other people there it stepped out of the darkness. One put their shoulder, their hand on my shoulder. But I asked her, told her that I knew who had the altar, and then she just kind of disappeared. What altar are you talking about? So, there's this crazy guy who lives in the woods. Um, and he listens to the voices in the fog and 
uh, the fog from what the others have said potentially comes out of the altar. And so, as evidence, they took the altar because they like to steal. Who likes to steal? Barley. Oh. The one I told you that, you know, uh, one guy accused me of being a lizard man. Oh, okay. Um, that was the scariest thing I've ever been a part of. But you made it. To be honest, I kind of loved it. Well. I don't want to do it again right now. But <laughs> we should do it again sometime. We should go look for the, uh, the singing voice at some point. That's not a bad idea. Um, Let's see if we can get back before anybody notices we've been gone. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. And you guys head back to the lodge. Um, Back to the bar. What are you guys doing? Yeah, I'm going back to... Uh... I'm sitting Frankie, with Frankie and Victor. Okay. So, what would you guys find out? You so, go first, Frankie. Uh, the guys are albatross. Oh, so your stakeout kind of paid off. So, older one, lawyer, called it. Um, the guy that was here first, lawyer called it uh the other one is the little brother who's now ceo because of the thing that happened well the younger one's name is eduardo and mateo's the older one okay what'd you find out from uh i think his name's ezekiel she said oh yeah oh. he uh, got a few screws. Oh, too bad Oliver's not here. That's what I was saying. Um, but he works on, I guess, inventions. He's trying to build some machine that makes forest Wi-Fi that can tell you what the weather's gonna be. That's different. <laughs> but, yeah, she said he was. She said he was some kind of inventor of sorts. Wait, who's Olivia? Do I ever know Olivia? Uh, oh, oh yeah. Um, I I know Olivia. Apparently. Well, I don't I don't know her, but uh, I did manage to uh, uh, piss her off at the police station. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Um, she she didn't like me telling her that uh, uh, they need to do their job differently. Oh, well, that was great. Uh, That's great. Anyway. What was that reaction? Well, I'm not there to say I told you so. <laughs> anyway, her sister apparently has a bakery in Fort Simpson. That's really good. The bakery's really good, or talking to her would be really good. The bakery's really good. No, it's good to know. And he catches a ride out there with Bob whenever he's bringing like tourists and stuff out. Oh, haha! So you got an inside track to some good bacon. He said they have really good apple fritters and something called a beaver tail. Oh yeah, those are great. Um, That's just, you haven't had one before, Frankie? I've never heard of it. Oh, it's just like a big, flat donut. Remember, basically. Frankie's from the States. Yeah, we don't have those in Ohio. Yeah, it's just like a, a donut with no hole. Like just a yeah, big, and you, and shaped you, like, a do like a beaver tail. Yeah, and then you cover it with like syrup or peanut butter or whatever you want. It's it's really good. It's very bad for you. But so, it is quite, addi quite addictive. So you could so see why he would like it. Smothered in something else? 
Yeah, but it's nice and flat, so you can put toppings and stuff yeah. on it too. It's really, really good. Oh, yeah. Flat. The what's flat? Oh, it must be an American thing because I never heard of it. Uh, honey, honey bun. bun. Said... Oh, we also similar to like a duchy. I guess. Yeah, but no raisins. <laughs> anyway, so the guy playing the guitar, his name is Benjamin. And she didn't really say much about him. And then that lady sitting over there, that's Maria. And she's got a couple of kids. She's a, it's like a stay at home mom, but she is a sub teacher every once in a while. But she's got two kids, Emma and Liam. And then the other guy there, the other bearded guy, his name's Caleb. And yeah, he's retired. He was a fisherman. Well, still a fisherman, but he's a retired fisherman. Well, he's not very old. Oh, fucking nice. Yeah. But like I said to Aria, I'm like, yeah, if he just lives simply, I guess it's not that, you know, not that hard then, I guess. Anyway, so I don't know whether we want to talk to the albatross. I don't know. They seem... Frankie, remind me again, you said about uh, the younger brother, he's now CEO. What was the thing that happened? What do you? Apparently the like dad or whoever the oldest dude is, Bob was saying the something about The patriarch of it. the family. Yeah, patriarch, that word. Um, apparently, so I looked it up as much as I could because I think if I remember right Bob didn't get into like super detail about it no he cut himself off okay well so since Bob didn't finish the story I went looking for the story and mm -hmm. apparently there's something about like a murder or a string of murders I don't know the like theories were all different but it's Aria, all... re Aria referred to it as an incident. That seems like a little more than an incident. Well, apparently, whatever the... However they were killed got tied back to him and the family. Huh. Yeah, you could see why they'd be laying low then. I don't know. I think it's just more suspicious for the rest of the family to lie low. But if that older one is a uh, lawyer, you could probably see why, just so there's no, uh, nobody talking about them. Yeah. But yeah, he went to some big shot law school or something. I think if we do want to talk to them, mm -hmm. we don't go up to them with knowing who they are. Because then they're just going to shut down. Yeah. Yeah. So is it just the two of them drinking there? Like they're talking to each other? Or yeah, what? they're talking to each other. Um, it looks somewhat serious to what they're talking about, but they are very remaining as quiet as they can. There's nobody. They're not drinking with anybody. It's just them. Just them talking. Yeah. Okay. I don't think they look like they're in a meet new people kind of vibe. in a talkative mood. Yeah. Well, like look at the Abercrombie's got a scowl on his face and <laughs> it doesn't look super yeah. happy. Yeah, I don't think I'd want anybody bugging me if I was uh, having a conversation like anything that they seem to be talking about. Yeah, they don't look real relaxed. Yeah. That's Do we want to talk to anybody it. else here? Well, we could try to approach. Well, no, you said that you were. You, yeah, you saw both of them there at the house when you were watching. Yeah. 
Yeah, I wonder how we come across them any other time. Again, if we plan to come here like every night, if they're in, eventually they're going to see that we're regulars and maybe they'll be comfortable. You never yeah, know. Yeah, true. Because this is a Thursday? Friday. Friday. What is this? Thur Thursday. Thursday. Right. So when I went and was hanging out by the house, I was yeah. hope, which didn't work, obviously, because I had like no extra information until now. Right. I was hoping yeah. that the the reporter chick when we first started this thing he's in our house. no 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 the one that did the youtube the youtube video oh right 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 yeah 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 i was hoping as a reporter she wasn't gonna want to continue to be cooped up and was hoping to catch her like sneaking out a window or something i think you said her name was sophia is that right uh i have it in here uh yeah i think that was the name yeah so you're hoping to talk to her then well, i mean she's the reporter one you know she's the one that wants to have a, like a news breaking story or whatever at least that's what i got from her doing youtube videos yeah I don't know okay. if she talk, but I was hoping. But if you go that angle, then, for sure. Well, I was hoping she would, you know, try and slip out and investigate or do something, so I'd... So, like, I could point every single one of them out. Outside of that, I don't know. Yeah. Well, at least okay. I, saw them. I I'm assuming I saw most of them. I don't know if there are. Okay. So, so do we want to talk to anybody else here, or what do we want to do? Because it's like I know we got to get up in the morning because we're gonna go meet with Hazel and see if we can get some information out of her about the mill. And then I was thinking maybe we could, uh, I don't know, check out the mill ourselves, like in the daytime. I don't want to do it at night. Yeah. Because it's like, has anybody been around there? I don't, like, Frankie, uh, have you? I haven't been in, I was thinking about it, but I hadn't. Uh, as far as I know, no one's investigated since uh, Eddie and his little team went in there. Yeah, I just thought it'd be, I don't know, maybe advantageous to talk to Hazel, and we would have talked to Olivia, but this one here kind of screwed that up a little bit for us, so. But, oh, give her time, give her time, she'll come down. Yeah, so, but yeah, we're supposed to meet Hazel in the morning and see if we can get some information from her. And, uh, yeah, and then maybe we can hit the mill out. after. If I could figure out what room Sophia's in. Maybe I could pique curiosity in the reporter to get her to sneak out. Hmm. Yeah. You know. Oh, well, you never know. Validate, validate her story or something. Like she's probably, she's probably gonna want to know more. Yeah. At least I would, but I'm kind of nosy. Well, I'm like the thing is with the stuff that we've seen, it's like letting her know. You know, you got a little more info. So it's like, yeah, that might just get her interested in. I still can't you know. explain this thing, though, and that's kind of bugging me. Well, we've got the email to this doctor. So it's like, I'm hoping that we've piqued her interest a bit. So maybe she'll come up here and. And then it's like, we've got the altar. The guys have, I don't know what they did with that, but they went and dealt with the altar. So it's like, there's a few things, but it's like, I don't know. We keep talking about the mill and nobody's gone and looked at that yet, but I who knows what we'll find there. That thing with a hand. The what? That altar? I still think we should have seen it. 
smashed it. We got it somewhere safe. We can, if we need to destroy it, we can still do that. Yeah. It's not going anywhere. But yeah, that's and then right. I don't know. I don't know when Elias is going to be released or if he's going to be released. Plus, with Helena, hopefully on the way, once we get a reply from that email that Maxine sent, um, hopefully Helena will want to see that altar and maybe we'll get some more information about what it actually is. Yeah. Sitting in the bar is uh, what you guys would assume is a hunter. It's just a guy wearing camo. Um, he's got boots on he's got a heavy camo jacket camo pants uh and he's just drinking a beer um he i don't see him yeah i don't have a picture it's a npc it's a random dude oh uh. um yeah i these are the ones that i have made and then there's other people in the bar who are just there um these are people okay. from town maybe this guy's from out of town you don't know Anyway, Camel Man. Uh, yes, Camel Man. Uh, at this time of night, the moon is starting to shine slightly into the uh, window of the bar. Um, and you hear footsteps rushing up the stair onto the patio deck, whatever you want to call it, of the bar. And the door slams open. Um, everybody looks at the door. And it's a guy, another guy, full camo, has like the orange strip strips on or whatever. I I don't know, reflective gear to make make yeah, it so the, that you're the, not going to shoot it. What? Yeah, the safety stripes. Safety yeah. stripes. Uh, everybody looks up from their drinks. And they see the urgency of this guy. He's got giant eyes. Uh, like his eyes are super wide open and he's like, Jake, you got to come quick, man. All right. Was, something, something took Tom. We got to go out now. And Jake immediately like throws some cash at the, uh, or lays some cash down on the table. It's American money, uh, and rushes out the door. Uh, the pub falls completely silent. Um, and they're like no no music no nothing everybody stops talking and jake you assume and the other guy who came rushing in are bolting away okay victor I'm follows him and, yeah we victor would. follows him and he says i'll be back I'm with you why would you guys come with me something's going on here all right you try to keep up lead. we'll leave behind you Victor, the more hands, the better. Come on. All good. Try and keep up. Thanks, Walter. Okay. Uh, I like uh, your running. <laughs> I need... Uh, the, to the Tom Cruise So, run. Victor is taking the lead in this, I take it, since Victor ran out first. So, I need yes. Victor to roll me an act under pressure. Oh, no. He has a plus one. It's fine. Ah. Oh, since my dice only roll ones, so that'd be an uh, eight. Eight? Um, okay. So we'll just go with this. It's fine. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Uh, you are bolting as fast as you can. You hear, uh, you hear the heavy footsteps ahead of you, but they are running into the woods. Um, and as they're running, you hear uh, a blood curdling scream and then you hear them say uh, you hear Jake and the other guy it's like Tom Tom where are you and they bolt towards the direction of the scream um, and as they're running towards you they both stop and it's like oh oh my god Tom and you manage to catch up with them just in time. Uh, you see off in the distance, red eyes. They don't see that, but you see that. What they see 
and what you see closer is four different shadow forms um i can't remember what this is called but it was a thing back in medieval times where they would tie the limbs of a person to four different horses on and quartering Sawn, yeah. sawn asunder drawn asunder drawn asunder and, quartered. Yeah. sure and All that is things. what's happening with these shadow creatures or shadow beings and they are pulling and you start to hear the sound of tearing and the body gets torn into Ooh. four separate pieces uh and as these two people are screaming um the screaming from tom dies down uh the two people pull out guns and start firing at these shadow creature shadow beings um but nothing happens to them and because they're shadows yes and you off in the distance see the creature and based on the level of fear coming now gets a smile on its face and then it vanishes did you two catch that um and then frankie and uh maxine show up to see the scene oh so you guys didn't get to see that oh you were there first oh okay uh what? so that was a worse outcome not good not a good outcome is she throwing up are they throwing up what me yeah that's yeah. right that I you, know you, you coughing was oh no it was I maxine saying i mean frankie has a look of like disgust on All their right. face. Yeah. We need to get in touch with the police and help these guys. How, uh, oh, Victor? What happened? Well, they're they're not going to be able to explain what we just saw. Did they? Uh, obviously, they Did saw it. Oh, well, they saw the shadow guys, but they didn't see the red eye creature back over there. You saw her? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I'll tell you guys about it after. We'll sort this out. So we round these guys up and head to the police station because there's nothing we can do here. Okay. You guys with them. I'll meet back up with you. Uh, okay. Where are you going, Frankie? I'm going towards the cave. You're going towards the oh, cave. Sorry. Right. 